Christina Opit, and I'm a co-founder and production director at uh, Omega Foods. Omega Food started in my kitchen, and whenever I talk about it, I have to talk about my son. In uh, 2015, I gave birth to my son, and I was looking for something more natural, healthy, and nutritious that I would give him when I win him after breastfeeding. And I went to my kitchen, and I, was, I started doing a lot of um, mixtures here and there. I came up with one mixture that was appreciated in my house. And when I continued, I gave my son, and he loved it. And friends after that would ask me, what are you feeding your son? And in response, I would give them to share. And they kept on coming back. And I was like, you mean I can make a business from my kitchen? That really excited me. And in July 2015, I registered Omega Foods with the PACRA. Between the, uh, July and uh, December 2015, we did a lot of uh, tests with Zambia Bureau of Standards to just make sure that I can come with a very good mix. In 2016, most of our clients were family and friends. But by the end of the year, we managed to sell uh, 3,500 packets of this porridge, and we, we were able to raise 60,000 kwacha, and I was like, wow, to me that was great. 2017, we, were, we sat down with my partners and we were like, let's take this to another level. But because of our capacity, we said, let's, try, let's start with the minimats in our communities. But we gave ourselves a target to go to every minimat in Lusaka. By the end of 2017, we were able to have 110 minimats and one children home. And from 60,000, we were able to raise 250,000 kwacha by the end of 2017. That is 14,700 packets. When we were doing this, many other people would come, like our supermarkets. They would ask us, you make the porridge, we can see one of your ingredients is millet and sorghum. Can you also do this? And we're like, why not? So we have other products. We have millet, we have sorghum, and we also incorporated cassava. Uh, we have, uh, out of this, uh, after 2017, and we saw the growth that we had 2017, we sat down again and we said, what next? It's a time to go to a higher level 2018. And we came up with a growth plan. In 2018, we plan to invest 1.6 million kwacha. Out of this, we've already uh, come up with 820,000 kwacha 